Hey, it's Doc Jen, doctor of physical therapy, and I want to talk to you about why your running shoes may not be the best for squatting. Running shoes are mostly designed for the fact that they're going to lift your heels and dump you forward. So if you already are complaining that your back gets a little achy in squats, maybe you get some hip pinching or some knee pain, I'm going to show you why that might be because of the shoes that you're wearing. So comment below, let me know, do you get back pain when you're squatting, knee pain, What shoes do you wear to the gym when you're doing your squats? Or maybe in home, are you wearing shoes? And what type of shoes are you wearing? Comment below, I wanna know. So when it comes to doing squats in shoes that naturally are gonna push you forward, we're gonna naturally start to go forward into our quads then. Because as much as we wanna sit back into our heels, your feet are already angled down, which is great if you're doing something like heels elevated squats and your intention is to get a little bit more quad dominant, But if your intention is to get a little bit more into that back chain, well, then we're going to want shoes that don't just dump us forward and allow us to naturally dump into those toes, causing more pressure potentially at those knees. The other thing that happens when we're wearing running shoes is that they're a little bit more unstable when it comes to that squat. So as we're squatting, we get a little bit more movement because they're more cushioned. They have a lot more underneath your feet. So especially if you're going fast through movement, we might not notice, am I falling more on the inside of my foot, more on the outside of my foot? Am I shifting pressure one leg to the other? I'm not paying attention to the shift and the lack of control and stability that's happening at my feet. So get into some bare feet. This is especially good if you can work out at home because you're going to have a lot more contact to the ground. And one of the arches that we always love to think about is that medial longitudinal arch. However, we have three arches of the foot that we need to pay attention to, the transverse arch and the lateral arch. So all three of these make a triangle of the foot that's going to create that stability into the ground so we don't have as much shifting side to side, which can put different pressures at the knee or the hip. So as I'm going into this squat, one thing that I love to do is coming up toward my big toe, coming around to my pinky toe, and then grounding down into the floor, naturally creating that arch, touching all three arches, and creating that stability in my feet. Then I can go into my squat and have a lot more support, stiffness through my feet, and not so much movement happening. Okay, now if you're going to say, but I work out at the gym and I can't go barefoot, this is where Vivo Barefoot Shoes come in really handy because they are just that barefoot and they provide enough space for their toes so you can do that grippy thing on the ground like I just showed going from that big toe out to that pinky toe and around to ground into the feet and have no movement and the other thing about Vivo barefoot is that it doesn't have that heel lift so that means there's zero heel drop so it's not going to push you naturally forward into those quads or knees it's going to help keep you balanced between the whole foot So then when I go into my squat, I could be a lot more balanced. I don't have any movement in my feet and I can remain into my heels more so that I come back and work my glutes and my posterior chain when I'm squatting. Now, if you haven't tried Vivo Barefoot Shoes or you want to try a new pair, we have a special discount code just for you. And not only are they cute and stylish, I get tons of compliments on them, but they're super functional, especially when it comes to things like walking, squatting, any type of lifting that you're going to do in the gym, me and my husband wear these every single day continuously, no matter what we're doing. We love Vivo Barefoot Shoes because of the contact that it brings you onto the ground and it allows you to bring that function back into your body. And they even had a study that showed that people who wore Vivo Barefoot Shoes consistently for six months had 60% increase in their foot strength. 60%. That's huge. So it's 100% worth the investment for your health. It's not just about a shoe. It's not just about looking good. It's really about the function and the ability to continue to move better and feel better within your body. So use code GEN. 10, we're going to drop the link right below, or we're also going to drop it up here as well. 
grab some Vivo Barefoot shoes, use code GEN10 and start squatting more barefoot or in barefoot shoes that allow you to have that toe spread as well so you can get back into the normal function of your body and feel all of those muscles coordinating together. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.